Reflection for Sunday, November 23, Solemnity of Christ the King, Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 46, The Gospel. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right, and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me, and this will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. Reflection A politician wanted to be the king of his town. So he said to himself, I need all the money that I could have so that I could use it for my campaign this coming election. To hasten his plan, he aligned himself with the rich with the end in mind that they would contribute to his election campaign. While planning for his campaign strategy, his wife asked him, What are you going to do with the poor who comprise the majority of this town? The ambitious politician said to his wife, Don't worry. I will pretend that I am one with them so that I could use them and have their votes. Today is the solemnity of Jesus Christ the King. What is the difference of Jesus' kingship to this ambitious politician? The divergence between Jesus' kingship and the kingship of this ambitious politician and ours too is like heaven and earth. Our mindset of kingship is one that dabbles in lavishness and one that craves for respect and adulation. The kingship of Jesus dwells in humility, simplicity, and service. Our mindset of kingship is to use the poor to serve our selfish ends. The kingship of Jesus is to serve the poor without any ulterior motives whatsoever. 
the earthly kingship that many of us and our politicians aspire for is a total contradiction with the kingship of Jesus. Come to think of it, what if we all align our understanding of kingship with the kingship of Jesus? The world that we are presently in would become a much better place to live. There would, there would be no greed and corruption in government. Most especially, there would be equality and no discrimination. There would be no hunger because the poor would be properly taken care of. But this is like wishing for the moon right now. Each and every one of us has his or her little kingdoms to administer. Say for example, if you're a parent or a breadwinner, your kingdom is your home. If you're a priest, your kingdom is your parish. If you're a politician, your kingdom is your town. Do you use the humble and selfless kingship of Jesus in managing and leading your little kingdom?